The Bell Every time a bell rings, it indicates a change in the fabric of the universe. And right in our face, from the very first scene, there is a possibility the key to this universe was there. The bell. What if the bell and the sound of the frequency has something to do with what's going on in From? The bell is used by Sheriff Boyd to alert the residents that night is coming and they need to prepare to lock in. What if the ringing of the bell is what's causing the residents to react to this place? Hello from fans. In this episode, we are going to explore the sheriff's bell as possibly being an instrument of hypnotism that can possibly have some unknown effect on the town. When a bell is struck, it becomes an idiophone percussion instrument. An idiophone includes melody, harmony, rhythm, etc., and are based on scales spanning an octave. It was discovered by Pythagoras, a Greek philosopher, that the note an octave higher than another has a frequency twice high. Most bells have the shape of a hollow cup that, when struck, vibrates in a single strong strike tone, with its sides forming an efficient resonator. The study of sound perception is called psychoacoustics, Hearing is not a purely mechanical phenomenon of wave propagation and air pressure vibration, but is also a sensory and perceptual event, meaning music can cause be to feel things. In a physical sense, sound that we hear is a mechanical wave. The use of bells is found in many religions, including Wicca, Buddhism, Hinduism, Japanese Shinto, and many sects of Christianity. While the purpose and meaning of bells varies, it's generally recognized that the ringing of a bell communicates a message of some kind, whether to participants in the religion or to entities in the spirit world. Witches use what some people refer to as a witch's bell to distinguish it from bells used for other purposes. In ritual, the bell may be used to invoke the goddess and or the elements. It can also be used to mark different sections of a longer ritual, such as the end of invocations and the beginning of the main body of the ritual. So, Boyd ringing the bell could be the start or continuation of the spell that causes them to see the creatures or activate them. Using a bell to hypnotize someone is scientifically proven to be possible. Hypnosis is a complex psychological phenomenon that involves inducing a trance-like state of focused attention and heightened suggestibility for manipulation or control. Using a bell as a trigger are cues that can be associated with certain mental or emotional states, behaviors, or responses. This was seen in the movie The Manchurian Candidate or Get Out with the Ringing of a Teacup. In The Manchurian Candidate is a political thriller where a soldier is brainwashed into becoming an unwitting assassin. If Boyd is ringing the bell, then he would be the one calling the creatures or brainwashing the residents. If he is not, then he may or may not know his or the bell's role in this place, like the torch or music box in Season 2. There are a few other liminal examples of bells. The Fool is the only tarot card with a bell. He's depicted in several different decks as a man wearing a hood or jester's hat with several bells attached. He gazes up at the sky, blissful, while one of his feet hovers in the air, caught in the moment he is stepping off a cliff. With a foot in each world, he is a representation of the liminal. This character can be referenced to Boyd. He represents the leap into the unknown, the end of one journey and the beginning of another. He's also considered the beginning and the end of the major arcana. This echoes the liminal nature and change associated with the bell. Similar to the fool, the court jester is another archetype associated with bells, usually on their hats. Their message is what you see is not what it seems. Jesters follow a different set of rules than everyone else. It's almost as if they are not of this world. Could Victor, Ethan, Donna, Fima, or Mrs. Liu the jester? So what if Boyd follows the prophecy of the fool and what we see is truly not what it seems, and he is either a witch or wizard that is responsible for causing the motion of what's going on in from? 
Following Jim's theory that this place is an experiment, during his time in the military, he could have been on the government team that set up this experiment, let it run, and his ultimate retirement was to leave the military but go to a place where he could survive. He seemed extremely happy to set the town up, find resources, and execute this quest ignoring Ellis and Abby. In my previous video, Is the Jukebox Evil?, I discussed music from the jukebox's uncanny timing or music selections. Go watch that video to hear the full breakdown. Music has long been associated with trance states. Music can be a form of hypnosis or brainwashing, even though listeners believe they have self-control. In particular, the concepts of automatic response and conditioned reflex have been the basis for a model of physiological psychology. In hypnotism, words and sounds play a major role. Hypnosis has been most closely linked to power in the brain's theta band and changes in gamma activity. These oscillations are thought to play a critical role in both the creating and recalling of memories and physical actions. Theta waves are present during hypnosis, deep meditation, and light sleep, including the all-important REM dream state at 4, 7.5 hertz. Your brain waves can match the frequency of an external stimulus. We can adjust the electrical frequencies of our brains and bodies using special resonant sound instruments. Regular ringing at the right frequency will allow you to access theta waves and can produce a reaction response and your brain can be trained. Some may use bells simply for clearing the space before ritual begins. Others use one to clear and or charge crystals, herbs, and other items used in ritual and spell work. However, there are many practitioners who keep a bell on their altar and use it in their formal rituals. An altar is something we haven't seen on the show, but if we do in Season 3, that would confirm the witch theory. We'd love to know your thoughts, so as always, let's discuss in the comments. On behalf of the Movie Guru and Movie Guru Media, thank you for watching this video. Please make sure you hit the like and subscribe button to be notified of our next video.